Hello everybody, welcome back for another episode of Killer Instinct. This time we're playing as Jago. Because, you know, why end it on the bad why finish it on the good guy when I can end it on the bad guy? Duh. Anyway. Ooh, we're finding Ripter first. Well, this is what I expected with TJ, but it didn't happen that way. Anyway, let me tell y'all something. Me no good as Jago. I mean, even as your prototypical Ryu clone, I'm not good as him. Stop it. Stop. No. No, no, Ripter! Why does that hurt you? She's just jumping over me. Should I even try to explain how how the fucking Killer Instinct world works? No. Even I don't understand it half the time. Kicked him in the shins and it ended. There you go. Winner! Orchid! Oh, wow. And you do again! Are you serious? Oh my god. You're- you're my sister! Why won't you obey me? Seems like the sword is the easiest way to get combos. I'm so bad! I'm so bad at this game! And I know that barely any of you understood what I was saying during a TJ Combos episode. Damn it, Orchid! Every time! I don't see no mercy to me. You turned me into a bullfrog. Yeah. Or is that a humiliation? she takes the round because she's going to be an annoying bitch who blocks and then she gets a combo off of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Fuck that, I'll just do wind kicks all day. How about that? The computer seems to have a hard time blocking it. Beast trying to do fucking sword combos. I'm just gonna have to break his computer. That's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm just gonna have to break his computer. God, God, Saber Wolf. Why are Supreme Victories like the most difficult thing to get in the world? What? Well, I ain't no Saber Wolf out of Fireball! Alright, if I was on my second health bar, he most likely would have pulled that into an ultra. So, I'm glad that didn't happen. Arr, kick, him the, kick him in the snout. There you go. He doesn't even have a snout. Whatever. I beat him with using one button. Good God. Wow, that uppercut landed? I mean, I guess Chief, I guess, I guess, against Chief Thunder, anything is possible. Damn it. And I'm glad that was a combo. There. Poked him in the butt and he died. Whatever. Oh no. Stop it! You need to stop! Damn, Danny, damn. Damn in the city of Maine. I don't even know if Maine has any dams. Maybe they do. I'm just spitballing here. Probably could have had a better response for that. No, 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 no! Damn it! Almost got him with that combo. If it was any stronger, I probably could have beaten him. Oh my god! He was able to punish my uppercut with an uppercut. Seriously? I can't hit him. I can't hit him. I I can't hit him. I can't. I actually just can't hit him. Unless I just wind kick the whole time. Or I do that. Everything else immediately gets punished. Which makes me mad. Because when you get punished on everything. Your game is no longer fun! Freaking wind kick! He's able to do it half he's able to do it all the way across the screen. When I do it, it cuts off halfway across the screen, and you fall on your face and then you get punished because of it. Stupid! Mashes out one combo, does every little bit of work that I just did. Oh my god. Lock wind kick and you can uppercut it. 
Oh my god, fireballs everywhere. Oh god, the sword! There. Fuck you, Jago. There. Delicious. Seriously? You're gonna punish that with fuck. Oh my god, the I can't touch I can't touch him anymore. I can't touch him. He's gonna counter every move I do. He's gonna counter absolutely everything. God fucking Rug! Glacius! You can let your guard down eventually, Glacius. You can let your guard down. I don't care. Oh, by the way, there's no throws in this game. There are no throws. At all. Unless I'm wrong. Which I probably am. The only didn't reason I didn't get corrected during the TJ episode because you couldn't hear me during the TJ episode. So everything I've said in that episode was rendered null and void. Stop blocking, stop countering, stop! It gets really obnoxious when you just counter everything. Damn it, I'm just gonna bait him into doing it. I know he's not gonna do what I want. Yup, of course. Honey, always hit, they always hit you with a half, with an all the way across the screen attack if you're freaking stunned. When you're in death stun. But you can break out of it. It's just impossible with the computer. Because most people would be trying to go for no mercies or ultras. Which would give you a chance to break out if they weren't the best at it. Oh, finally I avoided that stupid glacier attack. There. Dead. I got a supreme victory. Supreme victory. Oh, yeah! Alright. Fire Flash! Fire Flash! irony of Cinder being this fire being is it it sounds like his voice is underwater. <laughs> just a stupid little in just a st stupid little oversight I made. You know, if I if I if you want me to nitpick a little bit, I can nitpick. Asshole. I can't hit him. I can't hit him. Yeah, he's intentionally gonna leave me unable to hit him. I can't I can't touch him anymore. Dead. Okay. Alright. Spinal!
Oh my god, that seriously allowed him to fucking kill me? I hate the Spinal episode, I really am. Just because apparently he's hard as hell to play. God, the stupid- I got double stun- I got double dizzied. I got double dizzied. This game can double dizzy you. This is fu- Like, I think I've got the top five hardest fighting game AIs now. I think I've got it. I've got it uh, under wraps. I know them. I know them. Uh, it's this game. Uh, can't really decide between Mortal Kombat uh, 2 or Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, but I'll figure it out. Well, actually, no, it's Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, because fucking, it's just cheap as balls. Well, actually, MK2 is as well. They're both cheap. And it has the harder version of Shao Kahn in it, so. Fuck you, Spinal. Uh, Super Turbo, because it's fucking relentless. Or it blocks all the goddamn time. And then there's Art of Fighting 2, of course. No, nothing new there. And then Kaiser Knuckle, of course. No! Freaking Spinal! Although King of Fighters 94 is a close runner-up for that list. Because on any difficulty higher than, like, one or two, you're gonna have issues. God! You can, you can hit somebody with this move, no matter what. Unless they, unless they block it. It's literally the only way that move won't land is if they block it. Because even if they jump over it... Oh my god, he just crushed through the attack. Does the glowing red shit mean it's like a crush counter or something? Like, what the, what the fuck the fuck? Oh god, I almost just got bullshitted. God, he keeps teleporting! I can't hit a guy when he constantly warps back and forth, back and forth. Can't hit him, can't hit him. Super stupid, I can't. And even if I do hit him, half the time I attack gets crushed anyway. Because apparently it has more priority. What an asshole skeleton. God, who knew a skeleton could be so rude? God, give me what I want, you stupid skeleton! I can't hit him with- I can't hit him! God! Takes me any percent of my- And they threw me off the fucking building. Don't laugh at me, Spinal. God! Can I land anything? God, without him teleporting! God damn it! He either teleports or rushes in. And I can somewhat counter the rush in, but the teleporting, I can't counter that for anything. And he only does that when he gets desperate and is about to die. right now. But wait. I don't want this right now. I don't oh, I don't need this. Yep, just ne ne never, never, never.
Oh my god, that killed me! Fuck, oh, revive. What? I died?! I pushed all the buttons! I pushed every last button and I died! So no, you can't even recover. No, you can't. You can't recover in this fucking game. Never mind, I'm wrong. But I've done it before! I've recovered! I've recovered from that stun before! I'm not crazy, I've done it before! It's hard, but you can do it! This game blows! God. Playing this game in arcade mode is not a fun time. It's an exercise in torture. Even on the easiest difficulty, you're gonna hate this game, to a degree. Uh-uh. No, not my sword. Arrgh! Meme in the chest. There. Stupid skeleton. Fulgore. God! Fireballs! The nerve! Really? Really? We're doing this, Fulgore. Good bloody god! I'm on the ground dying! shooting fireballs! Okay, there is a way to counter a lot of his... Fuck! God, you stupid robot! Arr! Arr! Punch him in the chest. That'll end it. There. Alright, idle. Time for me to lose for about 30 minutes. And heals off every last bit of work. Every last bit of work I did. Uh, okay, so you can't sweep him. You can't sweep him. The AI knew it had a flaw and it corrected itself. Yeah, I have no clue how you beat Idol, by the way, as Jago. I have no clue how you do it. Oh my god, I can't touch him. Every time you make contact with Idol, you're dead. And if you're stunned, and once you're in the death stun, it's over. He's gonna rush in and just body you. will start every single freaking combo. God, unless you push it. No, stop healing. Stop healing. For the love of all that's holy, stop healing. And the whiff was legendary. God, you can't touch him. You touch him and you die. That's all that happens. You touch him, you're dead. Even if it would have missed the fireball, he just would have hit me on the second. Really? He countered me off of. I'm gonna have to use an invincibility cheat now. Cause you just told me two minutes. That's not the time you told me. You liar. You're serious. You say ten after two. And it's like, no, never mind. It's ten till two. Why? Just tell me the time. Don't tell me the guess. Alright, that's it. You know what? 
I'm not... I'm not willing to sit here and keep pounding down idle the whole time. So what I'm going to have to do is just cheat my way through it. I'm not in the mood to waste your time in order to try to figure something out. Because clearly I've got no strategy. I mean, I could use the sword combos, but still, that's, that's as ridiculous as everything else. Even then, I can still lose to the stupid healing. Oh, right, he can reflect fireballs. Yeah, Idol's such a stupid boss. And I've got no strategy for him apart from with TJ, so... So every episode might end up turning into this. I mean, yeah, the closest I got was booting him. That was the closest I got was with booty was with booting him. Everything else, I can't do it. I actually can't do it. This boss fight is bull. I, I know. Just let me finish. You're so adamant on not letting me finish. God, I thought at least I could get thunder done. God, the healing is so stupid. Just let me have a health advantage. All I want is an advantage in health. That's all I want. But it seems like I can't even get that because of the stupid healing. If I get hit with anything, and then he's already back to full health. So I'm about to lose with invin. I'm, I'm actually gonna lose with the invin. I, I'm about to lose with the invincibility code. I'm actually about to lose with the invincibility. Yeah, I lost with the invincibility. I lost with invincibility. Yeah, I lost with the invincibility code. No, I am finishing. I cannot just leave a project unfinished. That isn't me. What are we risking missing out on anyway? Previews? Half of them I don't even care about anyway. Because a lot of the time previews for me have been garbage. I haven't gotten to see movies that I care about. God. There. Actually, you know what I'm going to... Okay, now what I'm going to do is... Oh, actually, you know what? I can use this. There you go. Drain all energy. So now all I have to do is just hit him. There. Now he has now he has no ability to beat me whatsoever because I have a full health bar. So unless he pulls out an insta-kill move, that would break through the end. Okay. There, I beat him. There, I beat him. There, let's skip through his death animations. I already seen it. There. Jago returns victory to Taurus to his shrine for communion with the tiger spirit. And I can't see anything. By defeating the evil that existed in Ultratech, Jago is brought one step closer towards total enlightenment. Granted new powers for his loyal service, Jago strives for self-improvement. He must now seek out a greater challenge to fulfill his destiny. There. There you go. Uh, I gotta leave. I'll see y'all next time for Chief Thunder.